Hello, good morning everyone. My name is Putu Murtiara Devi. Simply can call me Murtiana or Murti. I'm a student of English language education in the University of Education. Today we will discuss about how to improve students' vocabulary in English through Flashcard. There are two important basic knowledge in English. Those are vocabulary and grammar. Those are the basic that we should master. Therefore, we will learn about vocabulary, especially on topics, antonyms, and synonyms in first semester. Why? Because in first semester, they will learn about this material that they should master on it. However, we will use cooperative learning to teach the material through make a match and mnemonic. Mnemonic is the kind of technique that we use knowledge to remember the content through a bridge. According to Ankensen in 1987, with his colleagues stated that there are three parts of memory. Those are recording, saving, and remembering. This is the effective one since students more mastery in abbreviations. It's more fun because students mostly like abbreviations instead of memory long sentences. Okay, firstly, do you know what the antonym and synonym is? Antonym is the opposite meaning of the word. Meanwhile, the synonym is the similarity of the word. In the classroom, we can use the first card to teach this material. First of all, teacher can divide it them into some groups. It consists of four until five students. In this group, the members should be interrogated, meaning that one group consists of men and women. Okay, we need to organize the technique step by step. First, providing students a lot of flashcards that contain of many topics about antonym and synonym. In this flashcard, teacher can input the picture to make it easy based on the word given. Second one, giving a clue to students to rearrange the position of the flashcard. For example, there are a lot of flashcards about kingdom. It should be contained of king, queen, cabinet mystery, soldiers, and so on. Tell them, after find out the antonym and synonym, they should rearrange the card based on the position. Like first maybe the king, besides the queen, and then cabinet, after that, the soldiers. Third, presenting the result in the end of the activity in front of their friends. In here, each group will presenting their work because each group will get another thing to solve. And it will be fun to discuss and the other groups can learn a new vocabulary in other groups. Finally, ask the students to memorize their work by making accuracy. For example, in Anthony, be small, for big small, and simplex for simplex complex, just like that. In fact, one until three students come forward to memorize their work. Maybe can you start from antonym or synonym? In here, teacher can provide a reward for the students who want to perform. Furthermore, in order to implement this strategy, of course, there are a lot of advantages and also disadvantages. The advantages they were first, teacher will more easy to teach the students about vocabulary, especially on topic antonym and synonym. Second one, more effective, use the flashcard rather than manually because flashcard provided a picture to make learning English more fun and easy to understand the content different. Third one, can build students' critical thinking when they were rearranged the card based on position. Meanwhile, the disadvantages were students difficult to find the word antonym and synonym because the lack of vocabulary, of course. And then difficult to ask students come forward to memorize the content by using abbreviation.
Finally, that's all about the strategy of how to learn English using flashcard for teaching vocabulary, especially on topic antonym and synonym. I do hope for every teacher could use this strategy in order to teach students English vocabulary in classroom, because this strategy is more fun. I hope you can enjoy it and get the point on my descriptions. Last thing, thanks for watching this video and have a great day. See you on the other video.